Exactly. Buenos dias, this is Kai Pacha with the weekly Pele report, the last one of 2015. Today is December 30th, 2015, and I was going to play a little game with you like Donde es Kai Pacha? <laughs> I can give you a hint, I am in the northern hemisphere, and I took the path here that I thought was going to the top of the mountain but I gotta say I've been wandering around here now there's there's been a bunch of different paths going a bunch of different directions and I'm not I mean I think this is the top of the mountain you know let me go off the trail here and get up to the top problem is with all this bush around here you can't really see the outrageous mountains that are creating this valley where, hint number two, they grow a lot of grapes and they make a lot of wine. <laughs> anyway, the wine is ruled by Pisces and Neptune and Pisces likes a little bit of wine. Chiron in Pisces likes a little bit of wine, but that happens to be square Saturn in Sag and opposite Jupiter in Virgo, conjunct the north node of the moon. Yes, indeed. Jupiter's going to be going right along into the new year, joining together with the north node of the moon, and then uh, going retrograde. Yeah, so um, we'll, we'll talk more about that. In the meantime, the moon is coming up. And as you can see, what I included here uh, in this uh, report earlier on, if you paused it and, and looked at the chart, you would see that the, the chart for 2016, January 1st of 2016, 12 o'clock midnight, I drew that chart for that time. And it has the moon in Virgo conjunct its own north node. Very powerful when, the, when a planet conjuncts its own north node. And the moon, of course, is our emotions, you know, our needs, our security needs, our needs, uh, you know, for warmth, nurturing, safety, emotional connection. So, you know, this is kind of setting the tone and, and then saying, of course, with Jupiter, there's a lot, a lot of need, a lot of emotion, a lot of feeling. A lot of, you know, situations with mom and family and, you know, and the past and our childhood, dealing with childhood issues, purifying, cleansing, clearing some of our past. Well, there's a little bit of the view of the, of the uh, montañas. Yeah. And, uh, and we, if we turn around over here, there's, there's some more over there off in the distance. I don't know how good this camera is going to pick it up. Anyway, back to astrology. <laughs> Thursday, the moon goes into Libra. Friday, we have the third quarter square. The moon in Libra squares the sun up there in Capricorn. As the sun comes up, it's going to be joining together with Pluto. Not exact this week. That'll be more exact next week. But so we've got the, the square moon. We've got a whole bunch of squares going on, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't noticed, felt it talked about it or heard it I mean we've got the big thing is Mercury square Mars oh right now you know Mars is in late Libra it's gonna go into Scorpio on Sunday Mercury is in late Capricorn and is gonna go into Aquarius on Friday and there on Tuesday Mercury is going to station and go retrograde 
So it was square Mars last week, it's square Mars this week, and it's going to stay square Mars next week. Because <laughs> it stations and then Mars comes by and it keeps going direct, it catches up to it and passes it by. So this is our thoughts, Mercury, our communication, Mercury, squaring Mars, our libido, our actions, our desires and our wants. So it's, you know, it's a, it can be a challenge to bring into alignment our thoughts and our actions. Yeah, that's what the square is about. And that creates frustration, it can create a little bit of anger, it can, you know, just mess things up in general. But the, uh, the big last astrological configuration that I want to talk to you about before I look at the camera is... Black Moon Lilith. You know, for the next few weeks, yeah, all the way up through the whole month of January. Black Moon Lilith is opposing Uranus. She's in Libra. Partnerships and relationships. Opposing Uranus in Aries, which wants liberation, freedom, non-attachment. Eccentric, unconventional conditions and situations. Individuation. And she's squaring Pluto in Capricorn that wants control, that wants safety, financial, physical safety, is cautious and conservative. So we've got a, you know, and, and she symbolizes, of course, she's a shit disturber, man. You know, it's like our relationships, you know, Lilith is coming along and she's stirring up the dregs at the bottom of the pot, the bottom of the cauldron. Saying, look at the shadows, look at what's buried, look at what you're not talking about, not sharing, not admitting, not, you know, da 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 around, you know, your desires and needs to be an individual and unique in your own special way, blah, 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 blah. Do, are your relationships reflecting your deepest soul needs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, let me just sit down and look at the camera. I don't know where I'm going to, you know, find a spot, but I will and talk about this. Well, okay, now that I am just about thoroughly and completely lost and have been wandering around these freaking hills for ages looking for a view, this is like the only view. It's like total full skag brush, manzanita, oak trees all over the place. I'm going to just find a spot here and hope that I get down off of here before it starts raining or something. Oh my goodness. I hope I got a spot here where you can see I got uh, the New Paradigm Astrology t-shirt. <laughs> Finally, da 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 da, yeah, check out the website if you want to get one. It says Aloha Namaste, so much love on the bottom of it, you know, it's great. And there's white ones too. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that kind of stuff. But let's hope it's a happy new year. Let's look at these aspects and see what's going on. I mean, it's really something because we want to really be talking about, first of all, the big Saturn square Neptune's going on, you know, through for the next nine months. And it's got so much to do with the end of illusions and the end of delusions. We've got this Sun, Mercury, Pluto, all in the sign of Capricorn, which is the law, integrity, God's law, the law. Yeah, boom. And Venus has just, you know, gone into Sagittarius to join that Saturn in Sagittarius. That's natural law. So we're looking at the laws of nature, we're looking at the laws of the universe, we're looking at the laws of integrity, morality, ethics, truth, honesty. All this big stuff is really coming up a lot and I, I you know, this year is really a time of truth telling. This is really a, a year where leaders and individuals and parents and kids and moms and dads and I mean, you know, everybody. This is a time where we're, you know, we, we really need to walk our talk, like I talked about, this Mercury square Mars right now, yeah? Mars is walking, Mercury's talking, 
and they're at odds with each other. They're not always the same. They're not always agreeing. Let's look at these squares because we have this third quarter square of the moon going from Libra to Capricorn. We've got, you know, the third quarter square of Black Moon Lilith, okay, to Pluto, you know, Libra to Capricorn. Uh, you know, we've got this uh, Mars, you know, uh, coming into a square with Mercury. It's Libra Capricorn. Moves into Scorpio Aquarius. So let's look at this square a little bit because it's very, it's an interesting dynamic. What we have in so many situations, you know, is this look at Libra and Scorpio. Libra and Scorpio have to do with relationships, partnerships, other people, our desire to be in association with and mirror and merge and connect and unite, yes, with other people, one-on-one. -on -one. Now we move into, you know, these other, you know, how is that Libra square Capricorn? Well, you know, what is this square? Well, Capricorn is our duty and our responsibility as an elder, as a mature adult to really do our job and do our business, take a role in society, uh, you know, uh, really do something, yeah, for the good of the many, the good of the group. And Aquarius, again, is community and it's the future and the, and the community in the future, you know, Mercury stationing right there at the beginning of Aquarius is like is this new future and, and liberation and moving up and opening the third eye and it just like, you know, really moving into the future with non-attachment, letting go of my career, my partners, my relationships, my business, my home, my whatever, in order to gain this greater, 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 higher enlightenment. <laughs> so what we have is there's this, there's this pull that there can be now between, you know, uh, being there for somebody else and cooperating with somebody else and compromising with somebody else you know, versus just doing my own thing in my own way and my own business and, you know, you know, my money and my power and my position and my reputation, da 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 you know, and it's just like this, you know, this real need, this real need to stay in our truth and stay in our integrity and define ourselves. And it's like I need to define myself clearly. This is the Virgo. This is the Jupiter thing going on. That's why I'm talking about illusions and delusions. <laughs> we are born with illusions and delusions, okay? This is Neptune, okay? Pisces, the 12th house, the, you know, this archetype that we're going, that, you know, that is now being healed over a seven-year period of time. Between 2011 and 2018, Chiron moving through Pisces is healing our illusions and delusions. We're all born with and we're all fed and we're all innocent in a way and we're all naive in a way and we all, you know, overestimate or believe things optimistically, innocently, you know, of the way that we are, of who we, of who I am, of, of, of you know, who this other person is, of what the world is about. And growing old and maturing and Capricorn and Saturn, you know, and this Saturn square Neptune is just checking Checking, checking, check, check, <laughs> sound check, <laughs> mic check, reality check. It's a big, huge reality check. 2016 is a big, huge reality check. Are you deluding yourself? Are you pretending? Uh, uh, you know, is the person you're with, you know, uh, your imagination, your projection, what you hope or, you know, you know want, innocently believe? that somebody else is when in fact you know th they're really not that they're not thinking that they don't really want that they're they're not you know in the relationship because of that it's it's all like you, you we put things on other people according to what we want and not just other people the world at large even god goddess i'll use myself as an example i'll throw myself out there <laughs> I'm walking around these hills and I'm thinking, okay, you know, 
you know, a, a clearing is going to happen. You know, I'm going. You know, the, the the brush is going to clear because you know this is you know the Pele report is important to people, and I'm on a spiritual mission, and you know it's all you know it's all for God and spirit and light and love, and and so you know the universe is going to support me. You know, and, and give me a clearing and the sun is going to come out and I'm not going to get lost in the hills and this isn't going to take forever. It's like, you know, I, I, I can just assume, you know, that, you know, it's, since I'm on some kind of a, you know, doily mission here, you know, that things are going to go my way. It's a pure freaking illusion, man. <laughs> you know, the Paley Report is, you know, nothing, you know, I mean, yeah, it's just my thing. I'm just, this is just my thing. I mean, my soul is evolving through, you know, through this process of doing this astrology report for five plus years, and God knows how long I'm going to keep on doing it. But it's it's my, you know, it's my thing. To for me to pretend, you know, that it, you know, that, you know, it uh, is some kind of, you know, bigger thing than it is, is an illusion or a delusion. And, and, and I may get into areas of grandiose thinking, oh, you know, gosh, I got lots of subscribers and, you know, I, you know, people recognize me. And so that makes, you know, that means that my astrology is right and correct or whatever. And I could get it. You know, I can get a big head about it, this, that and the other thing. But here's the thing. Here comes black moon Lilith through Libra. Here comes Saturn to square Neptune. Yeah, here comes Mars going into Scorpio, yeah, where it's going to be for months through 2016. And this is going to be my family, my wife, my kids, my business partners, other people that are putting on workshops with me, other people that are working with me, but people that are close to me. Not on Facebook, not Facebook friends, <laughs> not acquaintances that are, you know, <laughs> YouTube subscribers or something. No, these are people that are like right next to me and that they see me right and they and they know me from a whole different place and they can check me and they say just wait a minute you know you're crazy you're deluded you know you you know the, the, you're you know uh, you, you know you're wrong and you made a mistake and you screwed that up and you're out of integrity there or you did da, 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 da. and it's like come down to earth come down to reality you know and just because you like, you think you're on a spiritual mission, or you think you're something special, or whatever, blah 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 blah. We're all, we're all human. We're all on the planet together. We're all evolving. We're all making mistakes. We're all screwing up. And the idea here, okay, with this 2016, is just to come clean. The year of purification, of purging, Virgo, Jupiter. Moon, Jupiter, North Node of the Moon conjunction. Yeah, on January 1st, 12 o'clock midnight. It's like, you know what? This is, you know, this is about discrimination and discernment. And what is really, Virgo is an earth sign. What is practical? What is real? What is healthy? Or what's going to put you in the nut house or the jail cell or the hospital? This is, you know... It's like this is a year where the rubber hits the road. And this is, a, this is a week where the rubber can hit the road. Yeah, there can be arguments, debates, Mercury, Square, Mars, you know. It's not, you know, it's not always a happy, you know. It's exciting. There, there can be a lot of excitement. I think it's, it's going to be an exciting, you know, kind of New Year's, uh, you know, celebration. You know, Mercury, Square, Mars, and Black Moon, Lilith kind of, you know, you know, sneaking up, seeing, you know, bringing up, the you know, stirring up passion intimacy, sexual desires, rising up the Kundalini rising and, you know, it's just like, shh, Mars, you know, right on the edge of Scorpio going, you know, going into the waters, the deep waters. So it's, it's powerful and it is intense. It may be confrontational, but, you know, the bottom line of it is that it's just like really about, you know, coming into clarity, coming into truth. And, uh, and that's going to like, when you know the terrain, when you know the playing field, then you can strategize and you can make your moves and you can just like really succeed and evolve and grow and expand in, 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 a, in a much clearer, better, truer, sweeter way than having all this illusions and baggage and 
you know, projections, you know, holding you down, holding you back. It creates fog and confusion. And confusion leads to disillusionment. And that confusion and disillusionment can lead to depression and anxiety. So this is a real good year <laughs> for getting rid of the confusion if you just pay attention to Saturn. Pay attention to the reality. Pay attention to what the people that know you are reflecting back to you. And, you know, maybe don't be talking to yourself too, and not be taking too many selfies or, you know, talking into the mirror too much, <laughs> you know, and just building these fantasies. But like, check, check, check it, check it with partnerships, check it with other people. And that Black Moon Lilith in Libra is going to do you a favor and really wake you up to the truth. So the mantra, you know, uh, in my search for clarity, truth, and light. Uh, darn it, darn it, wait. In my search for clarity, truth, and light, a very good place to start. is damn it yeah I wasn't gonna do that man I mean I'm repeating this thing all the way up the hill <laughs> is to own my projections and self delusions yeah and stop pretending to be something I'm not it's actually got a little bit of a kick to it <laughs> okay in my search for clarity, truth, and light, a very good place to start is to own my projections and self-delusions and stop pretending to be something I'm not. Da -da 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 -da. You got it? One more time, one more time. Just meditate on this one. This is, this is, this, isn't, this is a good one. This is the final one for 2015, the last mantra. 2015, kind of a year to say goodbye to that, you know, you're in a square Pluto, welcome in 2016 of getting it all together, yeah? 2015 was kind of start out with a bang, you know, the fireworks, and now 2016, the dust is going to settle, and we're going to see where we're really at. In my search for clarity, truth, and light, a very good place to start is to own my projections and self-delusions and stop pretending to be something I'm not. Namaste. Aloha. So much love. <laughs>